Spain is the most beautiful country in the world. We have many things to do, many places to visit, many things to outstanding your emotions. And here I will help you to give you the best tips to travel to Spain. And uh, disclaimer, this video is in English because I understand that the people who go to Spain don't speak Spanish. Oh, some people speak Spanish, but some other not. So the subtitles also, my lovely subscribers, you know, you will understand. Um, yeah. Let's start. Spain has many cities, many, many cities, but you will not have time to visit all of them. So the best thing you can do is go step by step. Think what you want to do in your holidays and then enjoy. There are three general things that maybe you have to visit. The first one is Barcelona. You have to go to Barcelona at least. Then Madrid is the second place where you have to go for sure, always. And I think the third more touristic place in Spain is maybe um, Sevilla. But um, let's stay with Madrid and Barcelona, okay? I really don't want to check that info in Wikipedia. But there is a Spain for every kind of traveler, okay? So here I will show you, if you're one of those travelers, where you have to go. We have Basque Country for food lovers. We have Galicia for seafood lovers. Santiago's way for those who want to see many things without money amazing beaches in the islands a volcanic island that look like you are in a tropical country also we have the south of spain if you want to take a nap and the amazing ibiza if you like to spend 50 euros a day on a shot or as we call it in spain chupitos in spain there are many ways to move and um, the first one is buses you can use bus you can take a bus, very easy to take a bus, no? But it's expensive because there is only one company that will all of the bus communication in Spain is called Alsa and they are crap, corrupted shit. Then there is the train. The train happened almost the same, but it's very good from point to some point, like from Madrid and Barcelona, I think, and from Sevilla to Madrid, because there is um, AVE, high speed, like Shinkansen, but for Spain, so we don't go as, as fast as the Japanese Shinkansen. But it goes good, but still, it's expensive and shit, okay? Expensive trains, expensive buses, and the only way we have to move now in Spain is the amazing webpage called BlaBlaCar. It's great. This webpage can make you feel like if you are um, traveling uh, the speed of light in, in Millennium Falcon, okay? It's, it's amazing, this compared with the other ways to travel in Spain, okay? And also it's very cheap. It's a carpooling webpage. So you go to the webpage, you find someone that is going to the same place as you are going, you pay in the webpage, and the webpage pays to him. You just have to go to the place, to the meeting point. It's very safe, very nice to use it. And once you are in the point, you already meet someone because you will meet someone, some people in the, in the, in the way and you already have um, some tips that they will share with you for sure because we Spanish people, we are nice, we are not um, stupid. Sometimes we are stupid. They are so, so stupid Spanish people, but I hope you have good luck in Spain. By the way, they are not paying me nothing for this, okay? They are not supporting my videos. I wish, because eh, at least they could give me 10 euros for free for my next travel, but no, they are not. <laughs> Where to eat? At this point of the story, I hope, I think, everybody has heard about tapas in Spain, Spanish tapas, okay? Spanish tapas are amazing, okay? Spanish tapas are the best way to eat in Spain. It's just, you go to a bar, you order a drink, and they put you something to eat, okay? That's how it should work, but in some cities, like Burgos or Bilbao, this doesn't happen like that, okay? The Basque country doesn't happen like that. If you order something, they don't put you the tapa. The people of the rest of Spain freak out when they come there because they're like, what the fuck is happening here, you know? It's, give me my fucking tapa. But uh, no, it doesn't happen like that. You have to pay for the tapa. So it's super expensive to eat buy tapas in there, in those places. I think, under my point of view, tapa should be included in the constitution as a right for every Spanish, okay, to have a tapa with every drink that they order but it's not included yet okay so until then i have a list of spanish cities that include the tapa in the drink always okay it's not very accurate and it's small because i want to be sure only put the cities in which the tapa is included and here is the list it's included now okay uh, if you know any other city uh, you can leave it in the comments okay uh, i i know there are more cities but i don't want to put it on the list because 
because those are the cities I want to. Where to chill in Spain, okay? In Spain we have many beaches, but the best beaches are in the island, okay? Or in the or along the south coast. That's, I want to tell you this because don't expect to go to the beach in the north, okay? Because there's no beach there unless you want to do surfing. That there's amazing waves there, but unless you want to do surfing, there's no 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 nice beaches there to go. It's more for another kind of fun there. And you have to you can go to the island Canary Islands where you have nice summer sports, some nice weather and nice everything not like um, I think it's the most accurate place to do all those things where you have almost everything and if you know how to speak German you're gonna speak with the people there because everybody's German there in Spain we have hotels and things like that but uh, I'm not here to recommend you hotels in Spain, okay? I'm here to recommend you something else. You remember when I told you the Santiago way is very easy way to visit Spain for people who don't have money but have a lot of time, like you, if you are a student? There, in the Santiago way, uh, the accommodation is very cheap, even free sometimes, okay? The only thing you have to do is start in one point of the Santiago way, walk along the way, and when you are tired, find for what we call albergue de peregrinos. Okay. Once you find the albergue de peregrinos, you can stop, you can enter there, sign up, sleep. Some albergues have something that say la voluntad. It means that you can pay as much as you like to pay for stay there at night. Some others have a small payment. It's not, it's not a big payment. It's something like less than half a meal. Okay. And some others are totally free, 100% free. Those who are free are good are for, for the cover from the government and when they get full you, you you cannot enter anymore so they have they have a limited number of person who can sleep there per night okay so you can enjoy Spain very easily if you go to that place another thing is another tip for you in Spain for sleep is that Airbnb works kind of good but it depends on the city okay for example in Barcelona Airbnb it's shit is going to be facing a lot of problems. I think it's out of the city already, okay? I'm not sure, but it's, it's not good. Go to a hostel or something like that. But in another city, maybe Airbnb is super good, it's super nice, and everybody is free to do Airbnb. Yeah, it changes change in every city, so I don't know how to manage that. Just try, check if you find something that you like, go to Airbnb. If not, check for a hostel or a hotel or something like that. Here it is my tips for travel to Spain by Spaniard. If you like it, please subscribe. I know you will not understand my videos if you are English speaker, you don't speak Spanish, but you are going to travel to Spain, so maybe you learn some, some Spanish, you know, so you can follow my videos. They are very cute sometimes. sometimes. And if you are Spanish and you have been reading the subtitles until now, thank you very much to see this video. And subscribe because you will understand the next and the previous videos that I make. Uh, nothing else to say. I'm Borja Garcia. I upload one video every week. Subscribe, leave a comment, and we we'll see you next week. Be nice, and if you are bad, record it on a video. Bye bye. It has been very difficult for me to not talk in this video about my city, vale? It's called Burgos in Spain, it's in the north. The only thing I see in the video is that they make you pay for the tapas, but the tapas in Burgos, oh my god, they are very good, okay? It's like we have a very big tradition for morcilla, and English speaker used to like morcilla. It's long and it's black, and it's like a... It's like morcilla, I don't know. It's, there's only morcilla in, in these places. It's the only morcilla of the world for me. The, don't give me any other morcilla. It's made with uh, the blood of the... Well, actually, I have a video in which I can show you how to make morcilla. And it's, it's a very nice video. You can see it, but you will not understand it because it's in Spanish. But, okay. Yes, I am trying just to make this video uh, 10 minutes long. Thank you. <laughs> and now, yes, it's over.